Hello and welcome to Thaik. I am Muhammad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about how to create a multipurpose calendar table using mQuery in Power BI. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. To create a multipurpose calendar table in mQuery, we need to go to transform data that is power query editor so let's go there it will open up the power query editor so this is sales table sales date and then the sales value in mquery if you want to create a date you just need to click on right click here on the left side on the queries pane new query and then blank query We just need to type it here equal to list it will open up the drop down here and then select the dates click on enter it will open up this one parameters you can start it here click on start the start date is today and then the count is one and then steps you can even add hours minutes and seconds in this example, I just want to make one. So one second is 30 days. So invoke. It will create a list of dates from today to one month, 23 February to 23 March. These are you can able to use the date calendar. Now, if you want to use the actual minimum date to maximum date a complete calendar of the sales table say for example here the first date is 10th of july 2017 and the last date is 15 february 2020 you want to make the list of calendars on those periods for that you need to get a minimum date and maximum date of that column in mquery itself first of all we need to get the minimum date for that also we need to right click here new query and then the blank query in the blank query option you just need to type equal to record dot field open bracket table dot minimum value and then the table name that is the sales table here comma the column name sales date and also comma the output as sales date when you write this and then click enter you will get this minimum value like the same here instead of minimum here you can type it the same dax the same mquery function with maximum value so we get that 15 february 2020 is a maximum date and 10 july 2017 is a minimum date now if you look at this function it asks for the date count and then the duration right so duration is basically we are adding up one by one date this for hours, this for minute, and this for seconds. So this for 30 days. And we got this minimum date, right? So we need to add how many days it has to add up. On that case, we need to add one more query saying that days count. Here you need to add this mquery function that number dot form maximum date minus minimum date maximum date is nothing but this one the query which we have written just earlier and minimum date is this one if you look at this one and click enter it gives the result that is 950 days the difference is and then you need to create a query the same again here blank query in to type it as list or date the year layer is Minimum date, comma, days count plus one is adding up one day as advanced, 950, comma, the duration is one by default. So if you look at this output, it shows 10th of July 2017 to, you go further down, 2019, June, and 2020, 15 February why i have added one here you might have wonder about this one because the date between these two doesn't include one day here 
That's why we are adding up one day here to get the result. Now this is a list we have got up here because the formula itself says list the date. It's a list here. And even the icon which appears here is the list. Now you can just right click here and convert it to table or you can even use the menu option to table. Transform to table. Select to enter the delimiter. There is no delimiter here. And then no errors. Click OK. And rename this one. Date list. Enter. You need to change the icon here as ABC. It's not an ABC, it's a date. So it changes the icon here as this is date column. That's it. And from now on, you can do whatever with it. If you want to add a column here, you can add as well. Duplicate column. And then you can change only to year. You can do that. Transform year and then the year. It's add up here, here. And I want to add one more column. Add column from example. 2017-07 I made a video about columns from example if you haven't seen that just click on the link given on top of your screen that will give you the detailed description of how you can use this feature this is a powerful tool the Microsoft given here click OK and then this is year month so close and apply So here is the date column, date, year and month year and whatever the function we have created, it's all comes up here. The days count is 950, yes, and the maximum date and then the minimum date, everything is here. We can also add the calendar in using the DAX function. I have made a video about that as well. If you haven't seen that, just click on the link given on top of your screen. And now coming back to this one, you might be wondering that what is the use of creating a calendar in DAX and creating calendar in mQuery. The thing is, DAX normally works on memory in runtime. So if you create a lot of DAX function, then your RAM will get increased the usage and might slow down the performance. Whereas the mQuery, that is Power Query Editor, it is an ETL function. So whenever the data loads to the file, at that time it will generate this data. Later on you can use it for multi-purpose. And there are one more thing you can't able to use in DAX is, let's go back to data editor. I mean Power Query editor. This is a query, right? So this is the year and month. So what I will do is, I will just right click here and then add as a new query and then right click remove duplicates and then to table click ok I got the list of year and month for the whole sales table not only that if you want to take extract only the year so right click here same add as a new query right click remove duplicates and then to table What will happen is, I can use this year table if you want to group something else. So this is a quick short video about how you can able to create a calendar using mQuery in Power Query Editor. If you like this video, just click on the big thumbs up button. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have any queries and feedback, just post it on the comment section below and just go to my playlist and see what are the playlists I have here. And if you are more interested to make me the videos all about the real time scenarios, just post your real time cases on the comment section. I will try to make the video in future as well. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. See you in the next video.